Hi guys, welcome to another awesome and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, for the longest time, you know me. I am a good artist, cartoonist, can't uh a big show off person to sh to see what I can create. But oh my god, I'm so excited for this movie. Two movies are coming out this year, but one I'm gonna watch soon, September 20th, but the trailer that came out for Sonic 3, oh my god. I was expecting it to be not good. Oh my god, this was really good. I am very excited to see this movie to come out, and I am I am actually going to let Paramount on at this and say this. Do what you can to make things look good. Because I think that's why it took so long for a trailer to come out. Because they were still working on the animation. But my god. This is probably the best animation I've seen in live action films. And that is saying something. I am... Sincerely doubting if this is going to be the be like at least the first time we're going to actually have a third movie that is better than any of the movies that we've seen in any of the movies we we, we know of. Because how insane this trailer was! I kid you not. I was pausing it every time I saw. I saw. I think I paused it like six times while I was watching it, because I was just enthralled of what they did with the animation. They it, it looks more crisp. The characters look more, like, they feel more realistic as if they were... It's like if they took Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Shadow and they turned them into real characters. It looks almost real. And it looks crisp. It looks good. It looks really, really good, and I am so excited to see this movie. I don't know. It seems that because it, before it was December 20th for the release date, but it's just called December 2024. So that means that they're going to have to have a different release date instead of the 20th. But I would like them to have a release date that is earlier than the 20th, maybe around 18 or 17, because... That would actually get people to go into the theater and watch it. I kid you not. I get it to the 20th. Friday would make sense because it's it's uh, like almost a weekend. I get that. But for my schedule, it's really not great because I I work on the weekends and I would love to watch this on the on the days I don't have to I don't have to work. And oh my goodness, I keep on saying that, but I am excited for this. Like. I've never been excited for a movie for a very long time. Only the one movie that's gotten me hyped this much was when I watched, oh uh, god, like, um, Kung Fu Panda. And that is like, that's been like a really long time since I, I, I've seen it. And it's a good movie. I like Kung Fu Panda. But this, this is unbelievably better animation I've seen. Paramount, I think, has done better job at animation with live action stuff that I have ever seen for them what they have done right now. Sonic is probably their I think their best thing they put out for any of their projects. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and now we're going to get Sonic 3 and oh my goodness gravy it is fucking good. I am swear to god this is probably the best trailer I've ever seen for all kinds of reasons that I am so excited for. So, without giving you that much of a spoiler, this is how this has spoils in the trailer, but I'm not going to spoil as much to you. I'll just tell you what I saw a bit of it, but I'm not going to spoil all of it. You guys are going to have to watch the trailer yourself. But, take my word for it. It is fucking good. I am believably saying that because it is as good as it's going to get. So, what I saw is that 
Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are all together. They live with Tom. They live with her, uh, his, like, fe um, wife. Um, and they live in Montana. And I like the idea of Tom, like, not only being a dad figure for Sonic, but he's also, like, a friend. Like, there's a part in the movie where they, I think they're in his cave. And then he, like, draws, like, a like a chalk version of Green Hills where uh, Sonic used to live, like the actual Green Hills, the one with the palm trees and the, the loopy loop. But he put a loopy loop with Longclaw and Sonic on there. And I just think that's cute. That's really nice. And I like the idea of the government in this movie. They're really wanting, they want Sonic's help because there's a grander threat that is going to, that it has escaped. And it's up to Sonic and Knuckles and Tails to go and stop it. Which I am like, yes! Oh, heck yeah! Come on! I want I want to see I want to see all of them, all three of them, work together. It looked like to me they were gonna have it. I'm guessing how they they're gonna start the movie is it it's gonna be on the island, and then once Shadow leaves and then starts skating across the ocean, then we see his face. Then it's gonna cut to the to the actual logo. That's probably what they're gonna do. Like, that's pretty much why I'm thinking that's how they're gonna do it. And then it's gonna start in London, and then they're gonna have like Sonic, Tom, his wife, Knuckles, and Tails. And like Tom's like the burglar song. We got we gotta keep them. We gotta make sure that the the, the citizens are safe. You got your team ready. And then Sonic's like, oh yeah. And then like uh. And then that you know he's like he's channels on uh, tails ready tails, ready Sonic, ready Knuckles, ready Sonic. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> and then like Sonic speeds off, and then like Tails uh uses his technology and then Son <laughs> Knuckles bla breaks. He breaks the London clock with his powerful, like, just, like push attack. Funny, but that's going to be a lot of damage for that clock to be fixed. Um, I like the part where Sonic runs up a, a bridge and then he flies off like a, like a freaking comet. I think that's cool. And I love that they're actually making Sonic a lot more fluent in this. They're making him way more... Like, he's adjusting to his speed. Like, I like the idea of, like, him actually learning that he is able to, if he runs really quick, he's able to do these ac acrobatic skills that he could do, they couldn't do in the first two movies. And I like the, the, the idea of him learning from his mistakes from the first two and then counteract them with his new team. Now, with Shadow, oh my god, Shadow it looks... As good as they do, but he looks really, really messy. Like, they're going with the evil, like, tone guy that you do not want to mess with. He's very... It's like they took a little bit of inspiration from Mewtwo, from the Ticket Pikachu. A small bit. There is a small bit of Mewtwo in this, like, trailer. Uh, uh, uh like, like, there's... Okay, there's no, there's no Mewtwo in the trailer. It's Shadow... But he it reminds me of Mewtwo because Mewtwo and Shadow have almost like the exact same like style and, and like like you know like they were built in a lab and they both escaped you know what I'm saying then they both were in water like stuff. The difference between Shadow and Mewtwo is that Shadow he is under the depression that he is being used as a weapon for humans, where in uh, reality he is trying they're they're trying to keep him asleep so he doesn't wake up so he could destroy human population. But when he wakes up, it's up to Sonic and his team to go and try to stop him. But whoop de doo they can't because Sonic says in the movie, he's way too powerful. And we need someone that is actually able to like stop him. Now, I'm not going to tell you who he is, but you're going to have to see for yourself because I wasn't expecting that either. Because I was like, what? They're going that route? All right. <laughs> I already know that there'll, there'll, there'll be a double cross with the team that Sonic's with, but 
I am getting, I'm guessing this in the, uh, in the movie, they're going to do the team, team up with that person, and then it's going to, he's going to double cross them. After he double crosses them, he takes Shadow's abilities, and then he's going to use it to destroy the world. Or he's going to try to rule the world, and he's almost like, he's like halfway to, like, gotten to the point where he's able to do what he wants, because he's able to create these black holes, and, the, and it looked like, through the trailer, Sonic, Tails, Shadow, and Knuckles were all tied up on this little, like, pole, and they're almost being sucked into this black hole thing. I don't know what, what it, it, it literally looked like they, they took, um, the Doom guy from, uh, the Shadow Hedgehog game, and then they just, they did, like, a, like, a black hole attack that is sucking up all, like, debris and stuff, and it's gonna suck up Shadow and Sonic and Tails and Knuckles, and it's, and they're, and they're on this, like, pole, and they're all tied up, and they can't, they can't move, and the reason I know it's, there's Shadow there is because if you look really close at the actual shot, you'll see Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and then on the back side, you see a little black and, black and red on, uh, somewhere, that's Shadow, so, I, I'm guessing the person, after the person, like, double-crosses Sonic, Sonic tries to stop him, but then Shadow gets in the way, and then he gets his powers taken away, or, like, used, and then that's when, uh, that person is able to use those abilities from Shadow to start taking over the world, and it's up to Sh Sonic and Shadow to stop him, or stop them, and then, basically, I'm guessing they're gonna have, like, a power-up sequence where they're gonna have the Chaos Emeralds again, and then power up into this as super as super sonic and super shadow. I'm very excited to see this. I really hope we get an ending that is good to see like Shadow maybe become a good guy or like he is like gonna say like I need to I need to learn from my mistakes. And I need to ex ex explain that I was in the wrong, but I need to do it on, on, by myself. When I come back, you'll be seeing me a different man, Sonic. And then he leaves, like something like that. I don't know how they're going to end it. I don't know. Because I, ha I remember it hasn't come out yet. We just saw the trailer today. So there is a lot. Anticipation of what we're going to be seeing throughout this movie. But I know for a fact it's going to be one hell of a time. And I know it's going to be breaking the box office with a lot of money. It'll probably be the best movie that has ever left a shelf on Paramount. And this is gonna gonna me teach Paramount Sonic is a good moneymaker. And it is. If you could do a trailer like that and how the movie's gonna be like that, I'm gonna watch that. I especially like the part where they they kind of showed Gerald or uh Gerald come back. Don't know why he's alive, but there is a possibility that they're going to do something that's going to be different than the original idea, which is actually okay. I don't mind them trying to change Shadow's origin a bit, but just make it so it's still the same, but just have some stuff that are it wasn't that is not canon, but like make it so that it makes more sense that he's he's back now. So yeah. Um. Uh, another thing. Oh, the last shot that before that for, for like that like Gerald like. Uh, scene that I saw. Uh, the last shot is when Shadow says this. He says, I, I love his voice. I like Keanu Reeves now. I like Keanu Reeves because he's done, he's done good movies, but when he, I, when I heard him do Shadow, I like that. That's, that's, that's his, I think he's found the character he likes to play as. I mean, and he's perfect for that role. Like, he says this to the to Sonic Tails and Knuckles when they first when they first see him. He's like, "You're you're a very colorful bunch, aren't you?" It's like he's mocking them. That's funny because they are a colorful bunch because they're one's red, one's yellow, one's blue, but he's black, so he's an opposite color. But he has red on him, so like it doesn't really matter if he's. It's it's just a mock. I like that. There's even a moment where like Knuckles says. He is more, he is more formidable than, uh, he's more, he's more, uh, warrior based than the one, uh, hedgehog that I faced, uh, a long time ago. And then the freaking Sonic says, dude, I'm standing right here. Like, I like that movie where it's like, oh, he's like, Knuckles is tease Sonic about Shadow. That's funny. Now, the last thing that Shadow says after the, this last scene I'm going to tell you, uh, which is 
not really a spoiler, but it's just kind of like a, like a scene you're going to see at the end. Uh, but pretty much, uh, he says, when we're, uh, when I'm done with you, there won't be nothing left. Say, like, he says, like, when, when I'm done with you, there'll be nothing left. Like, I like that. It, it, it's just to tell, Shadow means business in this movie. Like, it's not like, oh, it's not like the first two were like, uh, Gerald, uh, uh, we had like a Knuckles and, uh, that one person, uh, with him, Robotnik. I'm just gonna say Robotnik. That's saying that Robotnik is in the third one, but I will say he he's in the first two. Remember, um, Robotnik works with Knuckles, and then uh, they, and then Knuckles has to stop like Knuck. Sonic has to stop Knuckles and Robotnik from destroying the world, and then Sonic uses the Chaos Emeralds to become Super Sonic, and that's how he's able to stop Eight Man. But like in this, we have we're like very rooting on who is going to be the, our hero. And all of us are thinking it's going to have to be Sonic and Shadow because that's how it's always been in most of the games. So whatever we get, it's going to be one of those like movies where we're like, I'm going to be in the, I'll be in the movie theater watching it. And after it ends, I'll be like, that was the best Sonic movie ever. By far. Probably. I'll probably say that. And I'll be doing a review on the movie when it comes out, after it comes out. Probably, but I'm probably not going to do a review after, like, like, basically what I mean is that I'm not going to do it after I get back from the movie theater. I'll do it probably a little bit later on, but I will be doing a review after I do watch it. And I am so excited to see it. Like, I think everyone's excited to see this movie because of the trailer. But anyways, the last scene I saw is when Sha uh, Shadow, like, grinds on this, like, this pipe on up, up a building. And then he jumps off his, his motorcycle as he's all powered up electrical. And then Sonic uses his electrical blast. And then they both, like, intertwine. And then as they hit, they explode. I don't know how that's going to be. I don't know how big that explosion is going to be and how destructive that's going to be. But I'm guessing it's going to be a one giant EMP blast that's going to, like, blow up a lot of stuff. Probably do a bunch of damage. Don't know. I'm I'm actually kind of, like, impressed that they were able to do that much power in this movie. And I just hope it's good. Because the trailer look, looks great. I want the movie to look... I want the movie to be really good. So, everyone, tell me in the comments. What do you think about this trailer that you are going to be seeing today? And you tell me what you like about in the trailer. Tell me everything you like about it. And tell me, are you going to watch this movie when it comes out around December? <sighs> this has been my review on the trailer for Sonic 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I, my name is Crazy Zombie! And I'm out. Bye-bye.